How you doing here? Back with another live stream. Been a while, but uh, got something new to show here and to kind of test out. I got me a camera. You know, I've been using these uh, uh, phones. These are Alcatel A845L phones for my uh, for my cameras for years and uh, three, four years and. Uh, uh, the I've been wanting a camera for a long time, but I really couldn't buy, couldn't afford to buy one. I, um, I still can't afford it. You may, if you recognize this kind of camera, you may realize I can't afford to buy much. But uh, it's a uh, it's a China camera, and it's uh, okay, I'm trying to show this what it says on the side there a little bit. It's uh, of course big letters 4K. Um, it's not 4K. The the sensor they say it's a Sony sensor, so assuming that's you know all correct. Uh, they also uh, I looked up the sensor. It's a 13 megapixel sensor, and I expected that to a certain extent. I thought it might be at least a 20 megapixel or a 15 or a 20, but uh, it. Um, I looked it up. I looked. I looked at parts houses and saw the specs on it and everything. And uh, so I know for sure it's 13 megapixel sensor. And uh, yeah, and it was a Sony sensor. Assuming the, I think it's in the ad on uh, Facebook. Facebook, uh, Amazon where I bought it. Uh, how I figured out what sensor to look up. You know, I'm sure it was. I mean, I couldn't just randomly look up a sensor, but. Um, and I knew several years ago I started I started seeing you know videos and, and reading a little bit about how they've used some. They may call it bit banging or something. I can't. I'm always so bad with names of things. But anyway, they use some some software tricks to to. Um, I guess you could say upscale the video. That's what they used to call it. Like in my I have a DVD recorder over there that uh, I used to use to record you know TV over the air right right. Right, uh, I bought it right to, uh, at right at the time when they uh, went to digital TV broadcast, you know, and I, and, and uh, it would upscale uh, SD to 720, or I think it's 720p, and um, it did a pretty good job. At be way better, I think. Well, but they're claiming 48 megapixels. That's what I'm trying to get to here, mumbling around. Uh, it does not look like any 48 megapixels, it, but. It may be okay. The reason I went ahead and got it is because it. Uh, I've made a couple of videos with it, and I'm, I haven't tested out all the features yet. But it has Wi-Fi. Wi if I understand, if it works the way I think it does. See, I stream my phones like this is going over Wi-Fi from my phone to my router to my computer through OBS Studio to YouTube. It, the only it works great. The only downside I can walk around and go out. I can go outside, but once I get out, like to the too far away, we're at the garage, we're in that area there, then uh, I start to uh, drop, it drops too many frames to be very, make a good video, because see, right now, well, right now I'm talking on the SM58 here, but uh, you see I have a lapel on, this is my old lapel, by the way, my uh, sauce, S-E-A-U-C-E -E lapel, it still works, but it doesn't sound, I'm, it's not running right now, I mean, it's not live right now, um, it's streaming through my camera, well, that's camera one, Phone one. This is phone three that it's, I've got in a little bag, when a bag that I'm wearing around my waist. And then phone two, I'm not using it at all because I'm, uh, well, because the batteries are so old, they're swelling up, they're outgassing. Only got two batteries that'll work. That the, the they're working. The other battery still works, but you can't get it to can't get it to go into the phone and connect. <laughs> and I've made videos on it. I'm not going to go into that. But um, so anyway, uh, you know, it was, I needed I needed three new batteries. To continue as I was, and I thought, well, and I found some, and I, I kind of still want to get them, uh, but I better get them, I bet, before they're gone because you know they're new old stock, I think is what they are. Well, that's one thing, if they're new old stock, maybe I don't want them because you know, starting off with the three, four year old battery, uh, don't it shouldn't, it may not last, you know, these lasted this long, uh, about four years, I think. I, I guess I should look up when I bought it, but um. If it's if that battery was manufactured back when the phone was manufactured, then of course it might last six months or a year if I'm lucky. You know what I'm afraid of. That's why I didn't buy them. Uh, so anyway, I bought this brand new uh, camera, 
it's um and <clears throat> it's um it's Wi-Fi USB uh, and I have seen I have hooked it up and I got the USB connected into OBS Studio. I don't have it plugged in right now. And um so it has a and like I said 48 they call it they say 48 see it just says 48 megapixels of still image recording. Hmm. Okay, oh, I'm not even going to still image recording. Well, you record video. You <laughs> not images but well i guess video is an image okay so you see they, they get around it with all this around and around talk uh but anyway it says in the page on amazon i remember it said effective 48 megapixels in one tiny little spot they say 4k everywhere 48 megapixels everywhere of course you know that's how they do um and this is that but that is why i got this one instead of some of the others this one didn't come, it come with two batteries but it didn't come with uh, and a usb cable and an oh and it has an hdmi output as well I don't have anything on my computer where I can get HDMI video into it. But really, w over my phones, the most I can do over my Wi-Fi with the chips that are in the phones and everything is is 720p. That's what I'm shooting at. It's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Uh, so I can set this at... Uh, actually, when I did plug it in, it looked to me like it defaulted to 720p, and I got a feeling on the USB you may not even be able to change it. But I might prefer to use Wi-Fi so I can uh, be mobile and walk around like I do with my phones. That would be cool if it was good enough quality. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, actually, it's not so straightforward. They, you know, they try to make everything so simple they make it almost impossible to, to do. <laughs> that you, you have to use a phone app. Uh, I don't think they even tell you any way that you could hook this up to your Wi-Fi without that phone app. And then again, it could be that it really doesn't. It won't go through your Wi-Fi. It says Wi-Fi, but sometimes things say Wi-Fi when they really are doing a direct device-to-device uh, -device Wi-Fi connection. Using the Wi-Fi uh, chips on your phone and on this to go to each other, but not through your router. So we'll see. That's what I'm going to do, one of the things I'm going to do. First, I want to test an external... Um, um, uh, microphone i've got my newer lapels my pop voice dual lapel mic i'm going to plug it into here and see what the sound is like because the sound is not good on this uh well the f first video i made uh it was snowing a couple weeks ago and i made a video of that that was before i even read the manual at all <clears throat> it um it has some strange sounds uh i talk about it i just made a video with this just holding it up at the screen and talking and stuff earlier but it, it made it sound like um if you know anything about uh you know audio and video then it sounded like a compressor that was set too tight that's what i would call it when i used to run sound for bands that's what we would call it and uh set too tight too high too much compression and uh it would it would clamp down the the uh the beginnings and ends of the work of your of your, of your sounds you, you're speaking you know that's what you're interested in you're talking you know um and um a couple of times it even kind of had that sound like if you talk into a bucket you know and you hear that kind of strange tinny echo coming back at you so um it just it, it it didn't come you can plug in an external mic it didn't come with one but i really uh, um this one was 109 110 bucks uh, the other ones that came with mics were 129 and 28 like that, but they didn't they didn't claim the 48 megapixel. They claimed oh I don't remember 26 or 28 or something like that. <coughs> but um, this one it's got a built-in mic and I think I found it. See the dot right right above my th finger there. That I think is the mic pickup. It says in the in the it's, uh, you can put a zoom. Uh, I mean a macro lens on a lot of these. In this one's manual, it said if you put one on there, you can. But if you put it on there, the mic won't work. So that's got to be where it is. I can't even with a magnifying glass. I can't. Uh, it really doesn't look like a mic to me. It looks like a sensor, like a. It's kind of you know what? That's not where the mic is. That's got to be like the probably maybe oh that's what i'm confused that looks like an infrared sensor and that's what it is for the remote that's what it said 
uh, it didn't say the mic wouldn't work. It said the remote wouldn't work if you put uh, a macro lens on it. And then that at the top, you might have seen the uh, light. Uh, you can kind of tell that's a light lens up there. Um, anyway, the settings are um, well, right off the bat. The, the remote here it is. The remote is pretty wonky. It's not logical. Sometimes if you, and if you mash the wrong keys, then it'll lock the camera up, and you'll have to shut it down and turn it back on. You see the up, down, left, and right? You would think that would pretty well control everything like most remotes. Uh, that is not, and I tried to zoom it that way and locked it up with the up and down and left and right both, you know. But uh, the, uh, let me get, I've got my, I've got my, uh, let me get on, on the, I've got the endoscope, the close-up cameras going. Let me get over here on it. This is a little manual. I did read through the manual quite a bit after the first time I ran it because, uh, because you know to try and figure it out, but I don't remember everything, and I might. I was thinking I would go through the manual with this endoscope, but I don't know if I'm going to get that tedious about it today. But uh, so here's the remote, and it. Uh, you see that is your zoom in and out. It says plus and minus. Of course, I went straight for what you would think would be normal, uh, you know, up and down, left and right. For and, but if you if you hit the wrong and what it Sometimes, also, this is very, very stiff plastic on top of here, and it can actually, I figured out that it, I was hitting these buttons and getting, at the ones I knew what they were supposed to do, I was getting the, the, the next button to it. And so, uh, if you just hit it, especially with your thumb, you know, if you hit it off to the side a little bit or something, and that's the way I'd hold it, you know, like that, um, it would do the one next to it instead of the one you're doing. And, uh, and I don't even want to match, but, well, it's not turned on right now, but I don't want to lock the camera up right now. I want to just do my first thing that I want to do, and uh, is the audio, uh, see what the audio is going to be like. And I don't remember everything. I don't know that you can really turn it on and off with that either. Anyway, I can try it later, but uh, that I do remember is the zoom. And, and if you see an okay on the screen and you hit that okay, it just does nothing. As a matter of fact, earlier today I did that and it locked the camera up. So... I'm debating. Uh, that's the thing. I want to find out if it has enough features that I like to keep it. Otherwise, I've got a few more days that I can still send it back, you know. And so, um, let's see. Um, let's get this. Um, let's get the. Uh, I'm going to move this to where I can uh, show you yeah I can get see I had to uh, I need to hang that off the end of the table so there's where you hook up the mic that's the record button uh, the zoom is it's not forward and back it's left and right to zoom in and out which that's okay you know but it'd be nice if it was forward and back but and that is the still shot button and and also, if you're in video, taking a video at the time, and you match that button, then it will pause it instead of stopping the video, and then you can hit it again, and it'll be a, be a jump cut, but it'll be... It's not real bad, though, because I used it on my, that first video, and it worked fine. Um, if you just kind of think about how you're timing it, and when you hit that button, it won't look like a jump, you know. Like I would say, okay, I'm going over to the other spot here, going, going from the back door to the front door, you know, and then I would turn it on and say, okay, I'm back. And so it worked really quite well. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, I'll open this up. It's just hanging out. There's not, I'm not. I don't want to drop it. So I got to get get this open here. <coughs> now there's your mic and. Uh, HD, that would be the HDMI, and that's the USB. So it char it, that's how you charge it, too. You, there's no charger that came with it, external charger. <coughs> you have to uh, put have the battery in there. And, um, <coughs> um, you know, plug it into the USB. And they provide you a USB cable, but they say, oh, just plug it into a computer, you know. And, well, I, I don't know if it's said or a phone charger it might have. 
anyway, that's what I've been doing is I got my phone chargers up there. I just plugged it into one of those. And uh, it took, I was thinking it did it in an hour, but it took two plus hours. I wasn't timing it, so I don't know for sure. But I ran one of the batteries down, and it and it, it would record. And it's too short to me. Uh, I guess that's why they started providing two batteries. Uh, it recorded 23 and something minutes, and, and, it, and there was no more bars left. And I hurried it up and went ahead and shut it down before it quit on me. I uh, didn't want it to break the video or anything or just be in the middle of t- jabbering and have it quit. So, um, let me get a drink here. I, um, so anyway, that's, uh, oh, and I was in, it may make a difference in what mode you're in. And the first video I made was in 4K, and it only does, it's, it only says it does 24 frames per second. It doesn't, I've seen videos in 24 frames per second, and there's, uh, they're not choppy, and these are choppy, so, um, well, you could, but in 4K at it, it for 24 frames per second, you can definitely see the like when you pan. If you don't go, if you better go really, really slow, or else it's going to be jerky. Um, and it was snowing that day, and it was. I think that made the snowflakes show up even better. So that was cool. I was hoping to get the snowflakes. That part of it was cool. But um, <clears throat> let's get this. Um, I'm all set up to use my lapel mic, so I guess I'll do that because so that I can kind of turn over that way. Because I'm, kind of, you know, if I'm stuck to the mic here, then I can't uh, can't move. Um, and it and it it will record, and it's too short to me. Uh, I guess that's why they started providing two batteries. Uh, it recorded 23 and something minutes, and and it, and there was no more bars left. And I hurried it up and went ahead and shut it down before it quit on me. I uh, didn't want it to break the video or anything or just be in the middle of t- jabbering and have it quit. So um, let me get a drink here. I um, So anyway, that's uh, – oh, and I was in – it may make a difference in what mode you're in. And the first video I made was in 4K, and it only does it's, it only says it does 24 frames per second. It doesn't. I've seen videos in 24 frames per second, and there's uh, they're not choppy, and these are choppy. So, um, well, you could. But in 4K, at it, it for 24 frames per second, you can definitely see the like when you pan. If you don't go, if you better go really, really slow, or else it's going to be jerky. Um, and it was snowing that day, and it was. I think that made the snowflakes show up even better, so that was cool. I was hoping to get the snowflakes. That part of it was cool. But um, <clears throat> let's get this. Um, I, I'm all set up to use my lapel mic, so I guess I'll do that because so that I can kind of turn over that way because I'm, kind, you know, if I'm stuck to the mic here, then I can't uh, can't move. Okay, now we're on the pal, and this is my old one. It doesn't sound as good as the 58 for sure. Um, but uh, I can move around. Let's see. <clears throat> oh my! I've got my laptop up there to monitor my stream, and it's, let me make sure everything's still uh, working. So there. Sorry. Um, I couldn't see the mute button. I wanted to get to work. I just hit it. Yeah, the the screen went to sleep, and I wanted to make sure I was still working. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'll put that in my on the hand like like you would be using it, maybe, and make sure I don't drop it. So I'm going to uh, plug my other lapel. <clears throat> Let's get it out. Got it over here ready. Now this one has it's a dual lapel mic set up, and there's a, some of the cable all wound up there. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and put it put them on first. I'm gonna end up with three lapel mics with this on today. <laughs> Never done that before. Okay, I just quit using the old one when I got the new ones. But today I wanted to do, you know, do this. Okay, now I'm gonna use my preview to see myself. Let's see. And hook these things on my shirt. And. Um, Just make sure they're not 
banging into each other or anything. I think they might be. Oh, those two are. Now, boy, I'm mic'd up. I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not going to get up right now, so I'll just leave that sitting there. I would kind of thought maybe I'd want to uh, put it in the... Uh, Oh, let's see. What would be best? I don't necessarily have to show a super close. Well, let's just show the close up. Okay. I don't think we need a super large one, but. Oof. Those things are nice, but they're also a real pain. Those flipper do rubber flippy doors things. Okay, now I'm just putting that in there. And this. Uh, this mic, if you buy, see, the, if you would buy a mic to work with your phone, you know, the phones are T, T R R S connections. And let's get that out and I'll show you. This is just an adapter to take it to TRS, the standard stereo connection. It, so it should work uh, unless the pinout's different in this camera than uh, it's general. You know, there's sometimes different manufacturers don't use the same pinout but I'll show you if you don't know what that is TRRS that has stereo output and mic mono mic input that's why there's four there and then uh, what this does is just take it down to uh, the mic it should just if it does like a, I hope it's pinned out the way it, it's going to just take it I mean it is for a mic right it's wire this mic adapter uh, is for a mic. So anyway, it takes it down to uh, TRS, which is, uh, well, it's, what it'll do, it, it's kind of odd. You would think with two mics, they might be stereo, but they're not, they're mono. Uh, but I guess what they do, now I'm thinking about it, okay, so what it does is mono, but it does send it to both the left and the right side uh, if you have stereo. Like in your computer, you have stereo input, right? Uh, at least that's the way I, I get uh, the way it works on my phone, anyway. And if I remember right, they said you know it's not uh, stereo. So I got that hooked up. Oh yeah. So let's we'll turn it on, and you can probably see that. And. Uh, there all the settings you can most of it you can do I, I read well when I was messing with it the first time there were some things that I couldn't do with the touch and I would do it with there's buttons on the side you can do it but you have to turn it to where you can see it you know I can't read those without a magnifying glass so I even with my little glasses on and I may be getting real these are those you know the magnifying glasses and I'm gonna have my eyes tested and I may end up with some real glasses maybe I'll be able to see again but We'll see, <clears throat> but uh, <coughs> first I got. <coughs> I'm diabetic, and I have. I'm fixing to start insulin. I'm gonna get that going first. <clears throat> Make sure that my blood sugar is all good before I go get my eyes tested, because that would be, you know, it's, it, my vision should get better when my blood sugar gets better, and then get it tested and make sure. Uh, so anyway, I'm not gonna go through menus right now. Uh, well, no, because I'm in a real awkward spot here. Oh. Did I just turn on the record or something? Let's see what I did. Oh, it just there's a red light on there that says busy. Oh, I think that comes on. Yeah, it comes on when it's, uh, anytime it's on. But I almost, I might have taken a picture, though, by accident with that. That button right there but and that's the record button and then that but when it's in record then that little button there is what will pause the video <clears throat> and uh, that's the zoom in and out and uh, let's see might be able to let's see if I can M is that's an M down there Okay, that, now there's the menu, and then now you have an up and down arrow. And I set, I didn't like the colors on the default, 
So it had one called Vivid Color, so I set that. And if you want to go into one of those menus, you, uh, like there you are, and then I set it to Vivid, that one on the bottom, and it looks more, I want it to look, you know, my phones are really vivid, and I like that, the colors are. They're a little bit too much, but uh, sometimes, but I like, like it, but I didn't, it looked washed out uh, on the normal one. It just calls it normal, I think. And I'm not good with these kind of menus. I always get lost in them, but you can set, and what else did I set? I don't think I changed the default off the defaults on anything else. A little resolution. And right now I'm in uh, uh, what does it say? Oh, full HD, FHD, and I was looking on the, now see, there's only VGA, HD, FHD, QHD, and UHD, but there is double that many claim settings on the Amazon page, so, and there's nothing in here that I can see that tells you, if I hit that one in the middle, that takes you just back to the main screen, so there's nothing I can see that tells you, uh, how many frames per second, you know, what, how many frames per second you're getting or anything, because there's so many different claimed ones. And I'm not, I'm not going to go into that right now. I just want to do my audio, you know, do a little video with it right now. But I think I will change it to, uh, the net. I've already done <clears throat> UHD, and it's kind of jumpy. Uh, I didn't really care for the way that looked. But I, when I did uh, FHD, and I was aiming it at my monitor, that's one of the reasons I bought this. I want to be able to zoom in on my monitor when I can't do a desktop video but I want to show what's going on on my computer and have it being readable. And I think it'll do it, <clears throat> but it was just, it did it, but it was a little bit blurry. So maybe if I have it in, of course, that's assuming that whatever I set will go through the USB to the computer, you know, in a live video like this or through the Wi-Fi, either one. Uh, if this one has a good enough Wi-Fi chip, I've got a gigabit routers and, you know, like 12, to, I think realistically about 1200 megabits wire, wireless, you know, so um, it might work. You know, my phones won't do it. Okay, so now it says, let's go back to the, in the yeah, 2K now is what it says. So let's, I'm going to see how that looks as compared to the last video I made. Uh, and this is, just, I'm just going to do a little test video now. And I don't know, I like this cap, but it, I don't like it swinging like that. Um, I'm actually afraid it's going to get in my video. I think I'll take it off of here right now. It's such a long cord. There we go. It was just one of those, it was just looped around. <clears throat> so uh, let's go ahead and get my stream back in. Now, you won't see what's coming, uh, you know, what this camera's doing right now. Uh, because I haven't hooked up the Wi-Fi. That's one of the things I'm planning on doing in this video. And uh, I don't have the USB plugged in. The, the USB cable that came with it is over here. It's it's short. It's about as short, you know. Uh, they do come shorter than that, but it's pretty darn short. I can't even get it from, like, if I wanted to put this on my tripod, that's my little tripod's on a, a stand behind me there. A little short tripod's on a light stand is what it is. Anyway, it's about this tall. And um, <clears throat> if I were to put that <clears throat> on, uh, you can, oh, and you can turn this, you know, like if you want to shoot up overhead or whatever or down like that or like that or you want to look, you know, shoot. It's, it's very helpful to be able to, you know, like if you were, if I had it on a tripod aimed at me, I can frame my shot with that screen. So that's pretty cool. You can't see it very good there at all, but you can tell there's a screen there. And uh, so it'll go, you know, all the way around to, well, it'll go to there and then back up again. But when you're on this way, you can do it like that. So that's quite nice. So, you know, it's uh, uh, one one thing about shooting with cameras, if when you go out, uh, you know, outside or walk around or do anything, you can't, most of the time you can't see what's in what's in your shot, you know, because you have to be looking straight onto that screen 
uh, in court, you know, like this, I can I can do this with it, uh, and get you know, however I need. But with the uh, phone, you know, wherever you aim it, that's what you get. <clears throat> wherever you aim the screen is the same place you're aiming the camera. Is what I'm trying to say. And uh, uh, there's so many features and everything. I'm not going to go through them all. Make sure I've got that. Plug it in all the way there. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't even think there is an audio readout in this screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit record. <clears throat> okay, so now we're testing uh, 2K on the uh, new camera. The I can't I can't remember something with a K. I, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there it is. there's a name over there on the box. Let's see. We'll, we'll just go over that way. Um, so anyway, I'm using the 2K setting. Recording a video, and uh, I have plugged in my uh, Pop Voice dual lapel mic into the uh, audio input to see if it sounds better. It should sound a heck of a lot better because they're pretty decent. Uh, <clears throat> heck of a lot better than the uh, onboard mic. It's very thin and tinny, and sometimes it even cut in and out on the one of my first video I made with it. I'm going to zoom in here. Now, the zoom is fast, and you can't get away from that. I'm going to see if I could find the name. Well, I can't read it. The screen's too little. But uh, the name of the brand of the camera is what I was going to see because I can't remember it. But that's the box, and uh, those are my mics. You can't see them. You can only see me on the live video, but uh, I'll show this. Do something about showing this later. Uh, See, the, for the results, and uh, it comes with a little uh, comes with a remote. Oh, here we go. Now I know what to do. Comes with the remote. Uh, oh, I can't get it in the picture. There we go. Now, and uh, comes with. This is what the batteries look like. This comes with two of them, and they last about 23, 23, 24 minutes, I'll say. 23 and a half, 24 minutes. I didn't run it until it absolutely stopped. I didn't want it to do that. Um, and you can have, uh, this is the HDMI cable that came with it. I have tried it out on the TV in the living room, and it worked. This is a little, uh, you know, backup battery or it's not, I don't know, some people call them quick, char quick charger. Uh, they're not really anything, I don't think, this is a pretty old one, but it's uh, still good. I never really had anything I could use it for either. I've only fiddled with it a few times, but uh, it, uh, you can plug this in to the uh, USB connector. <clears throat> like I say, if I'd ran both of my batteries down, I could plug it into the USB connector. Let's see how it does on the computer screen now. Figured I was worried about getting the feedback, video feedback, but uh, I won't get that because you know I've got it on vivid colors and looking at this preview screen, they look too. My shirt looks red <laughs> when it's really a bur purple burgundy. I mean a burgundy shirt, and the door's got a little orange to it. I don't think it records like that. It didn't seem to earlier, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, See what the bottom part of the screen looks. That's funny. I hadn't thought, realized that earlier when I was in 1080p, and it, I, I'm not sure if it was in 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, like I said, the uh, but when I was in uh, when I was in 1080p, I, I could get the whole monitor from holding it right here. So if if, if the higher resolution actually makes it, oh, it's I see what it's doing cropping in. I've seen that before uh, in the explanations about how the cheaper cameras they don't actually uh, um, we'll see that it, it doesn't have a uh, it's, it's a digital zoom it, it's a fixed lens and I was kind of watching some videos I, I you know I, 
I have. I used to kind of know a little bit. You know, a couple. You know, two or three lens sizes. But I've forgotten all that over the years. And uh, I had a friend that was a photographer, and he, you know, he wouldn't use anything but Nikon. SLR cameras, you know, uh, back in, before digital, then he went to DSLR. But um, <clears throat> anyway, let's. Uh, I can. Th th what the lens is is on the front of it. But what I was going to do is switch. Oh, well, let's do this. Let's go to the desktop on the. Well, desktop and cam one, I guess, be fine. Okay, so uh, I'll get over here and get on the computer. And uh, but anyway, I can. Uh, what I usually do is uh, keep a camera behind me, and um, have it pointing at the screen when I when I uh, know I'm going to show the screen, but I can't do desktop. You know, like if I'm installing an operating system on a machine or something like that. But yeah, this is like way zoomed in, so it's. What they do is they crop. <clears throat> um, it also looks to me like it's going to be more blurry than it was at 1080p, the words. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing by what I'm seeing here. Let's see if I can find my... All i got to do is get to Amazon and then... That was just the last thing I was looking at. So here it is. It's called uh, $109.99, so $110, free shipping. Uh, yeah, and I could show the whole screen before, even more than the whole screen on the last time when I was doing 1080p. Uh, but anyway, uh, I can. I want this camera. This could be a, a good thing, though, because if this is not blurry like this, then... I won't even have to use the digital zoom. I can just set it to, this can be behind me, to, it needs to be behind me to see the whole screen. So if it was on that tri, on a tripod behind me, then it would be, uh, um, and that's the little picture they have for it on there. Anyway, that, that's something I hadn't uh, thought about. So, um, Comrie, K-O-M-E-R-Y. That's what I was trying to remember. Now, when I bought that, I know it was four stars, maybe it, either right, even four stars or 4.1 or something. It's gone down to 4.3 in just a couple of weeks. So more people have bought them, and uh, there's still only six ratings. Of course, like not too many people write reviews. I've tried a few times and got so aggravated with the way they, they wouldn't take my reviews. They kept saying, you can't say that in this section. You can't say this, you know, and I said, well, screw you. I'm not going to waste my time doing it then. Um, I mean, I was really trying hard to be a, be a real detailed review, you know. Well, if you've seen the video of mine, you see how overly detailed I get. Anyway, I'm, I tried to... Uh, and I, I uploaded, and, and what was happening, I was uploading, last time I remember I remember doing it, I was uploading a video <clears throat> to go with it. They make you upload it, and, and when it wouldn't take the review, I had to upload it again. And it was very slow at taking the upload, so it was taking like 30 minutes or an hour to upload the video every time I tried to do a review. So, But... Uh, the one thing I was talking about there, okay, the resolutions, uh, 4K, 24 frames per second. Um, okay, and then it says uh, 2K, 30 frames per second, 2K, 30 frames per second, oh, 2.7K, and then 2K. And then there's full HD, 1920 by 1080, 120 frames per second. And then there's full HD again, 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second. But I cannot see any settings in there to, to change to those different things. Uh, so that's what I was talking about. So there's like, if there may be, the, maybe I haven't found it. Uh, hopefully, it'd be nice if it was all really there, you know. And so the resolutions and all that stuff. And uh, the batteries, they, they say, and I, I, you can read, I can read it off the battery here in a minute, but. 3.7 volt, uh, 1500 milliamp hours, and 
what you get is the camera, lens cap, external lighting or lens. I didn't get an extra lens. It doesn't show one in the picture. I think what they're saying is, it says external though. I just never realized that. <clears throat> I did not get one of those, oh, wide angle lens. Well, this is a fairly wide angle lens. I think they're just talking about this lens right here that's on it, you know, that I guess it could come off. It doesn't have any obvious way to get it off with that that I could see. Uh, and then uh, two batteries, USB cable, a, a HD cable, a D, a HDMI cable, a little bag, uh, remote control, and the user manual. It's, it's a detailed manual. Um, and so uh, I'll show you on the camera here. There's the little bag. And of course I just took the lens cap out. Battery, remote which I've already showed. There's the, one of the batteries, of course, is in here, and I'm running on batteries, so it will run. And there's a little manual over there. See, how long have I gone already? I've already gone 10 minutes. <clears throat> I never go quick. Okay, let's see. Um, and if, the, if there's no audio on the camera, I'll be real sorry. Oh, here's the other kind. Here's like some similar ones compared with... See, some of them come with like this for 128. It's got a, that uh, shade. I think it's more of a shade, that thing there on the end. And then the, the uh, it has a hot shoe where you can hook up. You can, this one, this is it, has a hot shoe. And you can put one of these uh, external mics on it. But you do have to plug it in to the, that's fine to me. That doesn't bother me there. Somebody was saying in one of the reviews I watched it. Well, it's, it's got a hot shoe where you can plug things in, but it doesn't actually work. Well, I guess the thing is it's not a real hot shoe because it won't, uh, I don't think it'll run a light or anything if I remember right. It does have a built-in light. This one has a built-in light, but uh, yeah, and it doesn't say here the uh, claimed, you know, or the effective megapixels on these others, but usually when you go look at them there, everyone I looked at was, uh, I didn't see that Canon. I don't, that I remember. All the ones I saw, what, I would rather have a Canon or an Icon or something, but uh, they were like, t you know, um, $300. But, uh, yeah, I might have to, last, I already forgot about it again. I'm going to put this in my little list just to see what the deal is with it. Let's see the quick rundown on it. 3.28 megapixel. Well, that's why I didn't see it. I wasn't looking for anything like that. <laughs> now I don't want to spend $200 on a 3.28 megapixel camera. Yeah, so, uh, well, let me get, let's get out of that. <clears throat> and, uh, so, let's see, um, Let's go ahead and get on my camera. Oops. So here it is while it's running. And uh, now it should be looking at me. Oh, well, I can tell that. Of course, you can't tell anything about the screen you know, with the lighting the way it is, you know. But, oh, yeah, I all I'm getting is my own eyes at this uh, resolution. So I guess I kind of figured that I wouldn't want to use the uh, higher resolutions because of the frames per second, but it may be that, uh, and, and you know, like if, like if I'm doing my live stream and one, let's go ahead and get this shut down now. And uh, so let me just, let's see. Okay, yeah, the button on the back. It's a little awkward to press that button if you're trying to hold the camera still. Um, to turn it on and off because it's shorter. The distance is too short for my hand, and I don't have a real big hand. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video. And, uh, oh, do I see audio levels? What do I see in there? Let me look before I do that. Oh, it says photo. And so I guess if I, well, you can't, 
if you mash the photo button and oh it does show a mic emblem so I guess it sees my mic then but there's no I thought it was an audio that it was two green uh, lines I thought that was an audio meter I was like oh I wish I'd have noticed that okay so I think it sees my mic so I should have audio there okay stop that video yeah it still sees the mic okay now I'm gonna turn it down, off turn it down and uh, oh, I forgot to look and see what the charge was. I'll I'll open it. It, it turns on when you open it up. <clears throat> so well, it's, it didn't lose any charge this time. I just but this time, see the batteries had been setting for. Um, let's see, yeah, I guess I'll leave the mic. Now let's unplug the mic so I won't be dragging the cable around. Um, I don't mind I mean, as long as I don't get up I'll just leave them sitting in my chair but but the uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> my throat's really dry I took some sinus medicine because it was draining so bad before I started this though so here's what I'm gonna do now is get the uh, let's go ahead and get the SD card out and that's on the bottom there by this label and it says 5 volt in DC um, and that's it's kind of funny that it's there because that's where the battery and the SD card goes uh, to plug it to do 5 volts you, you do it under the same area there you know to do a USB cable you can run it I, I didn't you can run it uh, you can plug in the USB cable and keep and keep using it so that's the other reason why, uh, you know, 23 minutes is really short battery time. Or two, two batteries at 23 minutes, that's too short for anything I do. Uh, but as long as I can keep them plugged in, I'll be fine. That's how I do my phones. Uh, so anyway, open that up. And that's, you, 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 you push over that tab and the battery will pop out. And then the uh, SD card is right there. Push it down and it'll jump up. And it's a little bit tricky to get to, but you can get it. And uh, I'll shut that door before I end up dropping it and breaking something. Oh, dropped the SD card. So, um, let's go back to the camera, I guess. All right, so this, um, well, mm -hmm. here we go. Yeah, well, I can slide this back now. I'm not having to get that camera up under there. So this is my SD card that I have. <clears throat> I have I bought three of this brand here. Uh, I, I have, uh, let's see. Well, I got them originally for, one for just to use and two for my, I have these uh, security cameras. One of them I haven't put up yet. But uh, right now I have like a 32 gigabyte in it. And these are 128 gigabytes. Uh, and the 32 gigabyte on that security camera lasts about three or four days before it starts erasing and I want you know more time than that on there so anyway um, that's the adapter to make it full size that takes full size SD card it's a micro and uh, let's see micro center what does that say Anyway, so, uh, so far so good. Uh, oh, you do have to format the cards to FAT32. They come in like XFAT or something, EXFAT. And, uh, but I have, now this is with another, came with another SD card. This is a micro SD card to USB adapter. So that video I made, I can just put it right in the computer right now. This, I had two of these, one quit working, and the other one has got the side broke out of it. Uh, so this is a different brand. I forgot what brand it is, so I won't go, go into that right now. But it does still work. You just got to be careful. Because it'll let you plug it in upside down now. And, it might, and uh, you know, it spreads open, and uh, you could uh, end up shorting out. 
that thing, but even worse, you might, you know, lose all your data on your card. But, uh, yeah, I won't plug this back into the charger again because once I think once you get started charging, you, 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 you will, uh, it doesn't, like, discharge it and recharge it because I did it a while ago. The one I ran down, it took two hours, two and a, two and a half hours to charge from being run, run uh, all the way down. And the other one had been sitting around for a few couple of weeks, but it was charged when I, you know, put the camera away. And uh, so now we're testing. Uh, uh, it took about 20 minutes to. 2K. You know, quit charging it. What it does on the uh, new you know, camera? The when it's charging and then the light goes out. Okay, I, I can't remember something with a K. I, I uh, can't so remember. Oh, there it is. Name over there on the box. It's, it mounted. Let's see. It we'll we'll just go over that way. Linux is what I'm running. I'm not running. Windows, so <sighs> um. If so anyway, I'm using the 2K setting. Recording a video and uh, so, uh, I have plugged in my uh, that I made for backing these videos up. And so uh, this is Crusader Twin Panel File Manager. Let's see. Yeah. There it is, 128 gigabyte. Let's see, now, yeah, SM58. Okay, now I muted that one and now I've got back. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to mute both mics. And all you'll hear is the audio from that video, and then I'll come back and we'll, I'll comment. Pop voice dual lapel mic into the uh, audio input. See if it sounds better. It should sound a heck of a lot better because they're pretty decent. Uh, <clears throat> heck of a lot better than the uh, onboard mic. It's very thin and tinny, and sometimes it even... It's cut in and out on the one of my first video I made with it. I'm going to zoom in here. Now, the zoom is fast, and you can't get away from that. I'm going to see if I could find the name. Well, I can't read it. The screen's too little. But uh, the name of the brand of the camera is what I was going to see, because I can't remember it. But that's the box, and uh, those are my mics. You can't see them. You can only see me on the live video, but... Uh, I'll show this. Do something about showing this later uh, for the results. And uh, it comes with a little uh, comes with a remote. Oh, here we go. Now I know what to do. Comes with the remote. Uh, oh, I can't get it in the picture. There we go. Now this comes with two of that um, about twenty. Comes with this is what the batteries look like. That's to do that. Um, I don't think it records like that. It didn't seem to. Let's see if I can find my find me to see the whole screen. So if it was on that tri on a tripod behind me, then it would be uh, <clears throat> to go with it. They make you upload it, and and when it wouldn't take a review, I had. I just now realized that but you do have to plug it in to the that's fine to um awkward to press that button if you're trying to hold the camera still but there's no i thought it was an audio that it was too green uh okay well that was not impressive in the slightest the res <laughs> supposed to be 2k my my two megapixel phone looks clearer and sharper phone cameras look clearer and sharper even at the screen than this one did but the cr funny thing is the previous video let me go ahead and uh <coughs> see i'll go ahead and start copying those over and uh <coughs> make sure that my sound's working doing all this switching sometimes i get things wrong Okay, I'll go back on the desktop, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, uh, in Crusader, if you use Linux, uh, or if you're interested in it, then uh, here's one of the, my favorite, this is my favorite uh, file manager, so I hit the, that, that is to synchronize, then hit compare, and it shows you there's one, one uh, file, the blue one, that needs to be copied over, so I'll get that copying over, and, uh, just that one file shouldn't take too long. Um, 
Let's see, yeah, I'll have to wait now. <coughs> I forgot about that. I was fixing to play that <coughs> other video. Um, <coughs> the previous video, I was going to play a little bit of it. And so we can compare the uh, 1080p to uh, 2K. But what, see, it's, it's, it's a 13 megapixel sensor. It's not actually capable of any of that higher resolution. So it's this, you know, the firmware, the software on the camera is trying to up convert it. But it's, uh, I thought it was, but uh, if it is, it's doing, uh, it's, it's not doing a very good job at all. I think instead of up converting, it's actually just. Um, I just started to remember some videos I saw about how different of these, you know, cheap cameras do these sort of things. It, they zoom in. It was when I was learning about security cameras, uh, trying to figure out what security camera I wanted. Um, they zoom in. They crop. You know, they crop the picture. Um, that's what it looked like. That looked like it was, you know, cropped in, to enlarged too much. You know, when you enlarge a picture and you start seeing the pixels, you could see all the pixels of that. Um, so um, the only reason why I didn't just, you know, spend $175, say, and get a used, uh, you know, Canon or Nikon or something like that, Sony, uh, was because they didn't have these features. So I need to try out these features uh, uh, that that I can use for live streaming, you know, uh, USB and um, um, oh, that finally opened up. That usually opens up when you, that's that's the standard file manager for Fedora 28. What is it? Um, KJ, KJ. I don't like that, that Windows stall file manager. I like the twin panel file manager. This is a lot like the originally when I was still running Windows 3.1, I discovered to, uh, well, it was called Windows Commander back then. Now it's called uh, Microsoft Pseudo, and they had to change their name and they changed it to Total Commander. I used that until I got into Linux in 2005, and then I discovered Crusader, and I've been using it ever since. But anyway, um, let's go to that previous video from this afternoon. And. Uh, this time, I guess, yeah, I'll go ahead and mute my mic again so I won't uh, be interfering with the sound on the, because that's one of the things I want to just compare is the sound, you know, so let's do that. Hey, you done here? Okay, I'm testing out my new Comrie, uh, camera again, video camera. Uh, that's the box. It says it's 4K. Uh, it said we'll do 4K. Um, they say on the box there 4K Ultra HD. Might be able to see that. Um, and I've, you know, I've just just some of this. Uh, that's a little manual. It kind of, it's a pretty pretty complete manual and little case and USB and has two batteries doesn't have an external has an external mic input but doesn't come with a mic for uh, let's see let's face it. oh it's not really there we go I'm wondering if it was gonna do the uh, you know the exposure automatically like at all you know it's supposed to turn on I've got it on automatic and I have it set on full HD which is 1080p I think there, there's two 1080p ses, uh, settings. Uh, it, the settings inside the little, you know, the camera itself don't manual. It snowed a couple of weeks ago, and I did a quick record. And uh, but then I kept going. Okay, I knew it's, uh, it's in the box. I have to get it. that one. I'm not going to move around or anything. And uh, but if I'm, I wanted to get it out again, audio hand out of the strap and then i couldn't get it back in one good th one thing i kind of like about it is you can uh, hit it's actually the take a picture button and you can pause it and then oh the battery's gone now you can pause it and uh and start it up again without starting a new recording 
So I'm going to go now before it quits on me. It may have already. No, it's still going. All right. Uh, bye. Okay, it took me. I'm slow at getting figuring everything out and getting back to, <laughs> back to going like I was planning trying to. Okay, um, so I'm gonna close this now just to give the computer a little rest. All right, so I just noticed something. You know, it looked pretty clear until I zoomed in when that was 1080p. Uh, they call it FHD. Like I said, all the settings that they show on the page are not available in the camera. The, like two two H, you know, like thirty frames and sixty frames per second. I'm good. I'll have to look in the manual and see if I've missed something. But uh, I mean, it should be. It, it there's no place else to go in those uh, menus. You know, I mean, it's not like I didn't go far enough into the menus. At least I don't think. Um, <clears throat> but anyway. Um, and just the fact that it doesn't say, you know, uh, H, you know, F, okay, if it says FHD, it should say 1080p, 30 frames per second, then there should be another one, 1080p, 60 frames per second, but it just says FHD. That's it. So, um, anyway, when I was into the 2K, I might have been zoomed in. You know how I kept saying, oh, I can't believe it seems to be cropped or something. So I'm going to turn it back on. Let me get the mic plugged back in. Uh, it was... Now, th when I use this double lapel on the... Uh, when I use it to do my live streams, I have it going... Um, well, I have it going through a, a phone, phone three, the one that this single lapel is going through right now. <coughs> Through the through that, over the Wi and over the Wi-Fi. So whatever automatic standard processing is in the phone, it does get that. You know, I think it's there's a probably a bit of compression or automatic level. It's not compression; it's automatic level control. I imagine they used to call it different things. They call it ALC, automatic level control, whatever they call it. There's a little bit of software that does a pretty good job of getting the right gain. Uh, you know. Uh, and and it's kind of it's in real time and and I can, but you can't change that in the, in my phone it you know it's part of the operating system uh, well whatever however it is uh, it's I mean it's it's not part of the operating system I'm sure but anyway it's part of the built-in software that comes with it and uh, I've found a couple of apps I tried and wanting like an amplifying app that I put on my mom's uh, tablet well I put it on yeah I put it on the tablet. I have a 10 inch tablet for her. Um, I think I might have put it on the phone. I think I put it on one of the. Yeah, I did. I tried it on my phones, two or three of them before I did that. And uh, all I did was just gain. It, it would, still didn't give you any other control other than that. And it quickly just, you know, distorted and overdrove. And it wasn't really of much use. It wasn't anything like what you can use on a desktop or a laptop computer, you know, a real D8. I mean, you can go from. Audacity to DAW, you know, digital audio workstations, you know, of all kinds of, um, uh, and then uh, that are free and open source. And then there's also pay, you know, commercial software that you pay for, so um, for Windows and stuff. But um, anyway, it just dawned on me that maybe I was zoomed in. I accidentally hit the zoom. It seems like maybe during that video I did. Yep. Because now that I've turned it off and turned it back on, it um, I'm gonna hit the record button now. Now I can get the whole whole monitor in there. So yeah, instead of hitting the record button with it like that, I think I'll go ahead and go to 4K and see what that looks like. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, It's so hard for me to read that screen. Resolution. There we go. Yeah, it's on Q, uh, QHD is what that is. Yeah. Okay, 4K. Yeah, see, there's only one. There's only 
there is no two modes of it, you know, two modes of things like uh, there is HD and full HD. There is that VGA, which is 720, I think. And then, uh, so it looks like maybe it has 30 frames HD and 60 frames or 100. Oh, no, it was 60 and 120 frames. That's what it showed on the. Well, let's go. Yeah, if you hit that, uh, you know, like what would would go further in, it just goes back to the beginning. That's what I thought. So there is no deeper to go into those menus. So. Okay, now I've got it on. <clears throat> Oops. Somehow I went... Oh, I'm in exposure. The words are blurry. I thought it said exit. Now, the, the button's on here. That's something I hadn't thought about. <clears throat> I've got it in 4K now, and the mic is showing up. Menu, mode. I know that mode just toggles through different modes and it gets confusing. I don't want to mess up my settings. Oh, that just brought up... I hit menu, it just brought up the... Uh, hit it again, it goes away. It just brought up the menu I was just now in. And the mode, it just goes through... I, I'm pretty certain that it just goes through... I remember that it goes through everything that's just in uh, that menu if you do it as a, with the touch screen. I'm getting used to the touch thing now. Now I can do that. Uh, at first, I couldn't do it. I'm going to start recording again. No card. Oh, I can't record because I don't have a card in there. I knew that. Okay. <coughs> yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Card is in the computer. I just got through copying everything off of it, and I didn't take it back out. Eject. I forgot to switch. That's all right. Oops, forgot to switch to the desktop. That's what I was trying to say there. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, now. That tape is, is to keep that little SD card. The only one that stays in that uh, adapter well is the brand that, that came with it. These, any other brand is loose and it wants to fall out. So I just use a piece of scotch tape to make sure it doesn't fall out. Let's see. Uh, get on the other mic. See that. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I did. <laughs> all right card is in the computer i just got through copying everything off of it and i didn't take it back out eject i forgot to switch that's all right oops forgot to switch to the desktop that's what i was trying to say there <clears throat> oh okay um Now, fifty eight now, check one, two. Okay, so we'll get this on again. Yeah, you have to leave that like that when you have a mic. I'm glad that's a right angle. I'm just lucky that that's what came with my mic. Actually, both of them, both of them, the, the single and the double is that way. But uh, and and since it's a little cable, see the other adapter is a long silver adapter. <coughs> that uh, I'll show it to you. I meant to a while ago. Both of them have this adapter, and this is the only one that works on my phones. It's a nice little bag that came with this pop voice. This one here, 
you got to plug it in so it makes it really long. Uh, makes it that long. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't get it turned around, but anyway, uh, yeah. Um, but it, that's what works on my phones. But so I figured out a way to uh, not break that my you know break my phone connector or the phone connector is what would break the the little you know female connector. I figured out a way. Uh, to support that, and I won't, I won't show it now because it's not what the video is about. But uh, yeah, this is safe enough like that with a you know a little short pigtail cable. So um, I'll open it up again, and then yeah, now I can see I'm on uh, 4K and I can see the whole screen. I was zoomed in and and. I must have zoomed in and then not zoomed all the way back, or I accidentally hit it. I think like at one point I remember thinking, oh, what did I hit? Did I hit something or not? And I didn't figure it out. That, I believe, is why the, uh, I'm going to start recording now on the camera. Okay. I always forget that I can't uh, go to the desktop. I need it in my left hand so I can use my mouse, what I'm doing here. Okay, now I'm just going to go back to that same page <clears throat> on the browser and uh, my computer's a bit slow, especially when I'm doing this much stuff. Okay, so I'm fig I can see the whole screen now. So I'm figuring it is quite a bit better. And it's not the only thing I want to do with the camera or anything. Now, see, I have to go way close to get the way it was. That's where I was at a while ago with it up in my face, with the camera up in my face. So that's what happened. But since I'm not zooming, digital zoom is not good. It, uh, it gets much more... Uh, pixelated when you zoom in with digital zoom that's why I, wa I wanted a camera with optical zoom but none of the ones like i said i could got a used one for 175 200 something like that 300 you know <clears throat> that's that cam not like this better ones than this one here um <clears throat> this one's only like the ones i was looking at were like 18 and 24 megapixel cameras this one's 3.28 megapixels, so no, I'm not interested in that. Uh, that's not really a new camera. That's a very that's a very old stock camera. But uh, so the one I got is, uh, I'm, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is is it worth what is it worth even having, you know? And is, is it worth a hundred or ten dollars? Is it worth even having at all? You know, so um, this is one of the things I wanted to do with it. And uh, you know, the audio wasn't drastically different between my lapel mic a minute ago and the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there on my recording. And uh, let's see. Oh, let's try this a different way this time, since I only need that one. Is that going to be worth the trouble? It might be. Okay, so I'm going to unplug the uh, audio. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll try that. I'm going to uh, get its little USB cable. Well, I could get this long one. Yeah, I better. Get this long one. I have a 10-foot, and I think it'll work just as well anyway. I use it on my, I've got two of them that I bought to use with my phones because I needed longer cables. And, uh, oh, I'm not showing what I'm doing here. So, um, we'll do this. Okay. Right. Is, uh, I'm, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is, is it worth what, is it worth even having? You know, 
And is, is it worth $110? Is it worth even having at all, you know? So um, this is one of the things I wanted to do with it. And, uh, you know, the audio wasn't drastically different between my lapel mic a minute ago and the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there on the recording. And... Uh, Let's see. Oh, let's try this a different way this time since I only need that one. Is that going to be worth the trouble? It might be. Okay, so I'm going to unplug the uh, audio. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll try that. I'm going to uh, get its little USB cable. Well, I could get this long one. Yeah, I better get this long one. I have a 10 foot and I think it'll work just as well anyway. I use it on my, I've got two of them that I bought to use with my phones because I needed longer cables. And, uh, oh, I'm not showing what I'm doing here. So, um, we'll do this. Okay. Okay, now we're on the uh, lapel, yes. Okay, let's check our sound in our video in the live stream. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's quite far behind. Okay, um, so get this thing off the edge again so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, so we're going to plug our micro USB, yeah, I think micro USB, so many names for so many things, so many similar things. Plug that in and me not being able to see. Okay, that's actually helping me, I think. Oh, wait. Is this not standard size? Or am I just getting it wrong? Looks like... I think I'm just not getting it in there right. Don't want to force it, that's for sure. Okay, the round side. You know what? Our standard micro USB does not fit that thing. It doesn't look like. I can't really see, I don't see good enough. So let's get these up side by side. This is the one that came with it. And there's mine that fits my phones. Oh, yes, it is different. This is that older style. It's much bigger, isn't it? So I, I guess I already figured that out and I forgot. So I'd have to buy a cable. Uh, this cable is so short. I can't even plug this into the computer and get it to go up to my top of my monitor where I like to set my camera, this my self selfie camera, you know. I would have well I can have it over there to the side like I have this one right now. I can that's what I'd have to do. It would just reach to there. But I couldn't be moving it around or doing anything if I'm doing a USB. So, yeah. It goes right in there when you when you have the right cable. I heard a noise and I thought it was the camera making a beat but I think it was just my my uh so there it is so my 10 foot cable can't be used like that I'm oh, glad I did that now I, th I, I think I remember now that I had already figured that out and I forgot it I mean it's really kind of you know, it's really uh, already called for, you know, for my cameras, my phone cameras anyway, so. Uh, let's see if this will reach from here. No, it won't reach from there. I gotta put it over here on this little thing. 
I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, if I plug it in, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, because either way I may have to stop and restart this stream because um, two things, well, if, if um, running two USBs on this computer, it probably won't be able to keep up, especially if they're both doing video. Right now I wasn't going to do video, I was going to do data though. But here's what happens. I set this up. Okay, I have my USB endoscope set up here. Right now, you know, there's just the endoscope. And you see, that's the standard plug that it's uh, USB-C, I think. Uh, that, that's the one that goes in the computer. And then here's the scene with, uh, you know, the, the endoscope and camera one. And then uh, I set up USB for the 4, 4K, but... But this computer, see, uh, I don't, unless I just never really understood USB, um, it, I, evidently I had it plugged in to this same slot, and so even though I have it named different, it still sees it as that slot. It's doing it like a serial port or something, you know, it's, uh, I thought USBs were like kind of on a rotating schedule, I don't know how to say it. Uh, didn't matter which one you plug it into, it would just see the device, you know, not the port. But it sees the port, and no matter what USB camera I plug in there, that's the one that works. No matter, which is kind of in a way, you know, if I'm only wanting to use one at a time, that's fine. But to try to use two, I don't know what'll happen. So I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug this in. Um, well, I'll leave it. Yeah, I guess it won't. Let me get on something. Yeah. Um, there's no point in even being on the endoscope. Well, let's see if it messes up the endoscope or anything. Well, let's just get on the one with me. Okay, so anyway, I may have to uh, close, start, close OBS Studio and open it back up again to get it to work. Uh, if you get the USBs, they'll get out of whack real easy. Too sometimes, and uh, you won't be able to. Uh, yeah, there we go. You won't be able to. Ah, um, oh, I can't think straight. Let me just continue with what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so right now that this is working, you know the. Uh, What's working is the USB, the endoscope. And so when I open this up and start this up, it will, uh, oh, it went to, well, it went to camera for a second, and then it went to this screen. Now this screen, I'm trying to get it under there. See, it says MS, M, MSDC, which is for data, or PC camera. Now you can touch that. Go to the other one. If you touch OK, it doesn't. Uh, it, it would hung up. Last time I tried to try to make it work, it wouldn't do any. It wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't like. I thought it would uh, like go back to the preview of the camera, you know, but it didn't. And uh, tried the remote, and I got locked it up a couple of times, and I got tired of messing with it. But I'm gonna leave it like that and see if that. Um, to see if you touch that, it does nothing. And so let's see if I got data connection. Um, actually, that that way I won't. Uh, it, it's still kind of. I've noticed lately, uh, data connections kind of work this computer pretty hard too. But uh, let's see if we get. Yeah, it didn't mount anything. And uh, if it was connected like it should be, it would. So, uh, and I tried mashing up. This is what I was talking about earlier. I thought, well, oh, I'm not on the right screen. Um, okay, now here's the remote. If you hit OK on the remote, it won't, uh, it doesn't do anything. I can, uh, either I can hit, I was trying to see, okay, I'll hit the down. Oh, yeah, you have to have the remote pointing at the front of the camera. So let me turn the camera so that I can do that. 
Okay. It's not doing it. And that's the uh, arrow. Up and down arrows do nothing. Try to lock it up again. Zoom. Oh, the zoom. The plus, it, it has a magnifying glass with a plus and a minus. That does it. Okay. All right. Now, if I hit OK, still does nothing. And the last time I just got frustrated and started mashing buttons, and it locked it up. So, uh, I did it once, and I don't remember how I did it. I think I did it with the, uh, I think I did it with the buttons on the uh, camera itself. Let's see, menu, mode, DISP, maybe mode. No, it didn't do anything. Power, DISP. I forgot what DISP stands for, but it's it's something to do with the lighting or something. IR, right where you can see. Uh, yeah, power, IR, I don't use that. I guess you can turn it on. I don't know. I mean, you just open and shut the deal to, to turn it on and off. But, uh, oh, yeah, you can watch back your videos on the camera. There's a speaker there, too. Um but that's too little for me to really mess with. IR, infrared, that's to turn the day and the night vision on and off. Uh, the mode button is not doing me any good here. Just does nothing. Menu doesn't react. I guess since it's in this uh, USB mode, it automatically does that when you plug it in. <coughs> um, I may have already locked it up. I think what I'll do then is um, see if I can power it on and off while you're seeing that. There we go. There you go. <coughs> <coughs> so that's how it took. <coughs> how it does. But, uh, and, and like I said, the touch screen does work. Double, you don't double tap it or anything. Those little arrow looking things don't, I don't think they're supposed to do anything. Doesn't matter how you touch that okay, it doesn't work. But the touch screen does work that way. But, <clears throat> I do believe it would have uh, mounted, let me go to the desktop again. I do believe it would have mounted. Sometimes things are slow to mount. USB things are, especially. <clears throat> and it hasn't done that. So I don't think it's activated. So I'm going to go to the camera one again. And I just can't get it to do. I'm going to leave it on camera and see if opening up another... Oh, I can't do that with OBS Studio. They'll fight each other. I can't open up a, another camera app. And, of course, if I go to the one I did set up, did successfully get this to work on, um, it's, you know, it's seeing the endoscope camera. That's I put it on it, and that's what you're seeing is <laughs> what the endoscope camera sees. So... Um, <sighs> That is a real pain about it, for sure. Let's, um, of course, I can take that, I can take the uh, SD card out again, like I did. I'm getting tired of doing that. I'm going to turn it off again, and uh, leave it all hooked up like it's hooked up. It shows that it's charging now since it's plugged into the USB. So, yeah, so I guess it does. Yeah, and that light was already on. I think it, I was wondering if it would charge at the same time as being used when it's plugged into the computer, you know, same time as the camera's being used. It looks like it would. Um, 
so let's see. I was wondering if my audio was working. <sighs> I'm waiting to see if my audio is working on my live stream. You know, my live stream looks good. Every time I've looked at it, it's showed green. But I just now noticed it's saying 35 minutes and 36 seconds. So I wonder if it uh, quit and restarted and I never noticed it or... Uh, Timer. Well, what, what, there was a time in the past when the yeah, the, I think the browser was not updating or something, and it was the counter wasn't working. Okay, sorry, <clears throat> got a coughing fit. Turn it sideways, actually, you know how sometimes if you just turn funny or something, it even makes that itch in your throat worse. That's kind of what happened. But <clears throat> that <clears throat> I went in and got on the other mic because at least it, it has, uh, well, they both have compression on them, but the SM58, well, I can turn away from it when I'm coughing. I can't turn away from the lapel. It's hung on my shirt. But uh, I forgot what it was I was wanting to <clears throat> even figure out. I had kind of planned on, I've already gone for, I know, a long time. I know I didn't go for no 38 uh, minutes so far. But, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's 8 o'clock, and I started at about 7, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I haven't gone as long as I thought. I was staying out there. It felt like I've been going for three hours. I don't want to, so I'm glad I haven't. But, uh, <clears throat> okay, so, that manual, it's, it's I, I had uh, sometimes I put that table where that setting where that endoscope is sitting over in front of me, uh, and I didn't because it then I can't you know I can't use my well oh because of where my where this camera is it, the table won't fit in between there the the mic stand that it's sitting on is in the way. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to turn it back on again. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. I can turn the little thing like that. I can't remember if I got it by the touch screen, the buttons, or what. But I did get it the other day. Okay, so. That okay don't work. You can tell it doesn't do anything. It doesn't matter if you touch in different places. Mode. I wonder if the mode button would help. Nope. You know what? I think that is how I finally got it to work. By pressing the mode button. I'm actually more interested in seeing the camera work in OBS than anything. The Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn it back off again because it's just not... Well, I could try, I guess, again with the remote. Maybe I was not holding my tongue in the right place or something. At the remote, you can see, maybe you can see that those buttons right up here are the ones that will make it page up and down. Oh, I just hit the power button. <laughs> and it said goodbye. So it, the power button works. <clears throat> okay, well, I got to hold this to where I can see it. Sometimes, you know, if you're too close to something, a remote won't work good. It'll work but not work, you know. The power button only turns it off. It don't turn it on. I remember that. <clears throat> it's not not turning it on. So, um, <sighs> the, uh, <clears throat> hmm. 
<clears throat> just let's do this again, I guess. <clears throat> You do have to activate it somehow by saying okay. So I'll try the remote one more time. <clears throat> okay, now I got it kind of working. Where I can aim the remote at it. Yeah, see, it'll do that. And if you just keep hitting the same button, then it'll just jump back and forth. And uh, <clears throat> you would think that the OK would do it. But it doesn't. The menu doesn't respond in this mode. Well, I can see that because it's taken over by the USB cable. There's only certain functions you can do. The play button wouldn't do that, would it? Nope. Let's see if it's still, well, it's locked up. Yeah, when you hit, I think as soon as you hit the OK button, it locks it up. <clears throat> it did power off, though. see you can power it back on with the power button <clears throat> definitely not the OK button oh camera button let's see no <clears throat> and it's not blinking red I don't think didn't make it yeah, it's not recording. It won't record in that from that screen. So yeah, the the one, <clears throat> and I'm just going by the picture on their camera button and and video button. <clears throat> I was saying camera button. I meant video button. Blue ones has got a picture of a video camera, and the green ones a picture of a, of a like a still camera. So I'm guessing that it would be to take a picture or to start the video. Because I don't, I did read all that, but I don't remember already <clears throat> what it exactly said. The play button is one that I hadn't thought of, but that doesn't make it do it. Let's see. Let's see if it's uh, it froze up again. It doesn't take nothing to freeze it up. Now this remote is uh, nothing short of infuriating. <clears throat> when I did. Uh, yeah, I was using it to turn the video on and off and stuff like that. First day I tried it out, and uh, I, I was just going in circles, <clears throat> and I thought I was just doing it wrong, but now I realize it is a wonky remote. I mean, yeah, I'm doing some things wrong, but it shouldn't lock the camera up, you know. It's crazy. Just because you hit, um, <clears throat> for instance, you, you do what should make it work, you know, you choose what you want to do and then hit OK. Well, that locks it. From what I can get, every time it seems it locks it up. It whole, just locks the whole operating system up. And then you got to turn it off and turn it back on. you got to reboot it. <coughs> so, um, um, yeah, if I want to get that video, I, 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 um, let's see what. Yeah, I, now I'm stuck at not really knowing how to get the, uh, I think I will get that video out of there. Since I was in the middle of kind of sh showing that and then I'd quit. <clears throat> so I was getting, like I said, I'm getting, I was getting tired of <laughs> fiddling with that SD card. I'm like, I'm like that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> then maybe it'll come to me what's the best way to... Uh, I'll either have to go read it in the manual. I'll have to get to where I can can read it. It means resetting. Moving that... With that that uh, endoscope off to my left and I'm having to hang out of my chair, I, it, I just can't get into a position where I can read it. So, uh, read the manual. 
<clears throat> and I could sit here and look at it with a magnifying glass, but, you know, there's no point in doing that in a video if you're not going to show what you're looking at, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> and I have a really hard time seeing it in the magnifying glass anyway. So let me get this, uh, yeah, see, I was, I was putting it back in the adapter. At least I have already showed that a few times today. So we'll get that last video off of there. <clears throat> Let me get over here. <clears throat> Plug it in. Let's see what... Yeah, I, now I'm stuck at not really knowing how to get the... Uh, I think I will get that video out of there. Since I was in the middle of kind of sh showing that and then I'd quit... So I was getting, like I said, I'm getting, I was getting tired of <laughs> fiddling with that SD card. I'm like, I'm like that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, but I'll go ahead and do that. And maybe it'll come to me what's the best way to, uh, I'll either have to go read it in the manual. I'll have to get to where I can, can read it. So now, <clears throat> it's mounted up. <clears throat> Oh, there's the uh, little file manager. It was minimized for some reason. Okay. I guess it did that because it came up while I was over this screen. <clears throat> but uh, I'll close the browser now. Get the <clears throat> get Crusader open again. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Wi-Fi. That's the two things that I'm really most interested in right now though it's the Wi-Fi and the uh, um, and the USB video I'm more interested in Wi-Fi really I think if it'll work I mean okay uh, <clears throat> Synchronize, yes, oh, okay, just the one video, <clears throat> haven't deleted the originals off of the SD card yet, since it's plenty big, it's 128 gigabytes, got 108 gigabytes free, <clears throat> but I'll do that uh, after I'm sure that the ones I've copied to my computer get backed up to my backup drive, once I reboot it again, it will, they will be, I uh, have a, a lucky backup automatically backing up to my USB backup drives. I actually have two. I have a five terabyte, four and a half terabyte, and a eight terabyte, not quite that. <coughs> um, and so I have real redundant backups going now. So, uh, <coughs> but I'll make sure they're backed up before I delete them or anything. <coughs> Okay, so, uh, and I haven't deleted any yet. I, you know, I could just delete them right there. But I have had a camera before, a regular digital camera, that actually got all messed up, kind of wonky. When you deleted them on the computer like that, it, it was still looking for them, you know. I think there's some kind of, you know, system, log files or log system files, INI files or something that the camera was using that you know, mess thing, it would kind of whack it out and you'd have to, I forget what you had to do to get it straightened out, but you had to do something. <clears throat> so anyway, um, let's see what this one's like now. Recording now on the... I forgot to... Uh, I'll go ahead and mute my microphone so that I won't be talking over the video or coughing over it or anything. Camera. Okay. I always forget that I can't... Uh, same page. Better. And it's not the only thing I want to do with the camera or anything. Now, see, I have to go way close to get the way it was. That's where I was at a while ago with it up in my face, with the camera up in my face. So that's what happened. But since I'm not zooming, digital zoom is not good. It, uh, it gets much more uh, pixelated when you zoom in with 175. Looking at, we're like, that's not really a new camera. That's a very, that's a very old stock camera. 
But uh, so the one I got is uh, I'm, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is is it worth what is it worth even having, you know? And is, is it worth a hundred or ten dollars? Is it worth even having at all? You know. So um, this is one of the things I wanted to do with it. And uh, you know, the audio wasn't drastically different between my lapel mic a minute ago and the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there on the recording. Okay, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I was zoomed in on that previous video, <clears throat> and that's why it was so blurry, more blurry on uh, 2K than it was on 1080p. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking, well, now I'm getting where I need a break pretty bad. So, that would give me a chance to... Uh, I'm gonna have to review the manual, I guess, to figure out what it was I did. What did what, what you got to do to get that thing to connect to USB? It's not doing it like it should, like I expected to. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna take a break, um, and I will try to come back here in a little bit and uh, try. I want to try USB and Wi. If I can, I'll do Wi-Fi. But I got to read the instructions to even see how you're supposed to do that. I think you have to do it with an app, and that means i got to get out something to put that app on, you know. All right, see you later. <laughs>